Welcome back. So today we're gonna be doing another baby update. Um, I think the last one we did, we weren't quite in our third trimester. So. I don't know. Let's roll the footage. Did we say anything about it? Okay, there's no footage bro. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all never mind that. So, the last, so in case you didn't know or haven't seen the reveal video. That video right there. We are having a little boy. <laughs> and we are so excited. We were so surprised. I, I will admit, <laughs> both of us <laughs> thought it was gonna be a girl. Like, yes. I, I'm, I was probably 90% sure it was a girl. So when I, when I, well, not when I, cause I didn't open it up and win. <laughs> but Whitney opened up the little outfit and it was a boy. Uh, well, I, I guess I shouldn't be telling her that. But when we did a general reveal and we found out it was a boy, I was super shocked. Yeah, his reaction was priceless. If you haven't watched the video, go check it out. Yeah, go go ahead, go watch the general <laughs> reveal. We'll wait, then you come back to this video and we'll give you some more updating. <laughs> But uh, I'm super excited because I mean, I guess all guys want a boy, so I mean, it's I guess I don't know, it's just I'm having a boy, <laughs> having a little me. We're gonna bring him, we're gonna... he's super excited. I'm super nervous, so, so why I don't understand why you're nervous though. <laughs> What? Tell, tell the people why you're nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I just feel nervous. We were looking at baby clothes the other day and I felt so lost and out of place. Like, why? I, I don't know. <laughs> you never bought any boy clothes before? You didn't have any nieces, I mean, no nephews? Yeah, I bought boy clothes before, but I guess it's different now. I gotta look at all boy stuff. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I'm just nervous. <laughs> A lot of people say boys are easier, so we'll see. If, if anybody who's recently had a boy or had a boys and stuff like that, give us some words of encouragement. Drop something <laughs> in the comments to make us feel better. It's gonna be all right. So, that's, we got this. So. Oh, Jeffro. <laughs> Do you hear the one? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought there was only one thing. Right. So if y'all hear anything like a doop or something like that, we got a, a crazy bird out there that <laughs> that's trying to get through the the patio door right there. So he just bumps into the window every once in a while. But don't mind him. So the prediction test that we did way towards girl. But I mean it was all about the ones you picked. So if we would have picked more ones that favorite boy then like for some of them you said you didn't want to do, right? True. We didn't do the ring thing where you do the ring over his belly. Hold on, hold on, let me go holler at Jeff. You can keep going. <laughs> my cousin had did this ring thing on us before and it predicted we were gonna have three girls and a boy. So we were just sure that this one was gonna be a girl. Just a little boy and we're super excited. We can't wait to meet him. And our due date is June 13th. So right now I'm supposed to be 32 weeks. But when I went to the doctor, my last week to the doctor, with the, just the tape measure thing over my belly, he said that I was measuring um, two weeks ahead. So, and I was 31 weeks at the time, so I was measuring at 33 weeks. So now I have to have another ultrasound at the end of the month, and we'll see what the uh, ultrasound actually says the baby's measuring. We are looking for boy names now that we know what it is, but we're still looking for A's. So a boy name that begins with an A, if you got a good boy name that begins with an A, leave it down in the comments. Yesterday we went on the hospital tour and that was lovely. So the good thing about that is I, I got to... He got to learn a lot of things he's gonna forget. Exactly. Because <laughs> the baby gonna come and I ain't gonna know nothing there. I'm gonna be... <laughs> But now uh, we got a little tour of the hospital where we where she's gonna be delivering, so that was good. So you know, um, it's not it's not like I'm you know oh you you broke your water broke let's drive to the nearest hospital. <laughs> I don't know. That's how I feel like it always happens in the movies. Like I don't know, but 
We got to see the room. Yeah, so it doesn't happen like that in real life. You have pre-register <laughs> for the hospital you want to have the baby at. Did you pre-register? Yes. Uh. <laughs> and, um, you know, sign all this paperwork and stuff. And then you go into the special place to the women's center. You don't just run to the emergency room and say, my wife's having a baby. Go to the women's center. <laughs> they take you upstairs and they tell you how many people you can have and can't have. and. Basically a bunch of stuff that you can't do. Yeah. And you can't have. So so we was in a like a tour group, uh, a bunch of pregnant ladies and and their helpers. I think that's what they called them. Bur and then it was just a birth partner. A birth partner, helper. <laughs> uh, she had a couple titles she gave us. Like we were uh, how about husbands? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but even if I would be, if I was a boyfriend, I would be rather called a husband and not be a husband. Well, if it was her mother, though, that's what I'm saying. Everybody didn't have their. Everybody there had a husband. <laughs> <laughs> the tool, uh, they they showed us the room. Well, first we, we got the group. I told you about the group. It was a group of pregnant ladies and their helpers. And they showed us the rooms and they told us about the different rooms. One room being like the pre. Where you go before you had the baby and to have, where you go to have the baby face. Then they showed us a post room. Then we walked through the hallways that had beautiful pictures of little babies on them. And uh, that's all I remember, so. <laughs> all right. So she basically tell you how many people you can have in the room while you're delivering. Um, three people max and he can't record. He's kind of sad. No, 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 she didn't say that, y'all. She said I could not record, oh, well, that's what she just said. But what I can do is take pictures, and technically, a time lapse is a bunch of pictures, right? Right, YouTube? And where are you going to get that camera tape time lapse? In the back of the room. What do you mean, the back of the room? I can see that's not going to go well. Hey, if y'all if y'all want to see um the, the, uh, what is it called? Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> no, no, I don't think y'all want to see the birth, but if y'all want to see a birthday vlog, I don't know what they call them on YouTube. Delivery. Delivery vlog. Labor if y'all want to see a labor delivery vlog, thumbs up. <laughs> Get this video a like right now. Yeah, he think he gonna be in there wearing me to death with it. <laughs> y'all want to see, right? Y'all want to see how uh, the emotions we go through and and what the baby looks like when it come out. He's gonna be a beautiful little boy, nice and healthy and strong. I already got him a weight set, so as soon as he get home, we're gonna start hitting the weights. Baby, already strong and big. <laughs> My whole stomach be moving now when he's moving. I had to show you. Have you seen it, Lou? I had to show you. No. It was moving today, I was looking at it. It's not moving right now. Yeah. But, um, so now they also got this new thing where they don't give the baby a bath for six hours. Was it six hours? Yeah, that's. that's... So they can have skin to skin contact. In which I had saw, I got an email, you know I get all little baby updates. And I got an email about that, that the stuff on their skin when they come out has health benefits or something. So they, instead of giving him a bath, immediately they just like lay him on the parents. Uh, another thing I want to know, cause like, I'm, I'm, we're not first time parents, but like we already said, we didn't have a traditional birth or whatever. So I want to know for like parents that have multiple kids, did anything change from your first kid to your second kid? Or like if you're, if you're giving birth now, or if you just gave birth, like something that's weird. Cause I feel like some of this stuff is weird. I, I don't know. Or something that's helpful. If you got something that's weird or something that's helpful, let us know. Also, what did they, what did they say about the wristband? Oh, they was like, yeah, that was weird for me too. Like, is people stealing babies? Yeah. But she was like, so you got you got a wristband, your baby got a wristband, and I think the helper gets a wristband, and they're they're all the same color, and they got the same number or something like that on them. And, and uh, it's a security device. Right. The and the baby's wristband is magnetic or something like that. So if it gets too close to a door, with uh, with somebody who doesn't have a wristband on with the same serial numbers. So does that mean our wristband to be magnetic too? I guess. Because all of us will have the same wristband. They said if the baby gets too close to a door without like, I guess the right connection, then all the doors on, on the floor go close and lock. And basically the floor will be shut down. So like, 
God forbid the doctor's got to run to somewhere else to, <laughs> to deliver another baby or somebody else. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm delivering. They downstairs. Then they just can't get in and have their baby because all the doors shut down because we got baby stealers out here. If you're a baby stealer and you're watching this video, <laughs> and I know it's you because you're going to be the one that thumbs down the video. Oh, baby stealer. Shut up. Who out here stealing babies? Still babies. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, and you can't charge your phone or <laughs> anything in delivery room. <laughs> so, so yeah, they was like, don't, don't make sure your phone's charged. Don't <laughs> plug nothing in. It was one guy now though. They was like, oh, they poor baby. It was like, it'd be all right. Don't listen to them. As long as you don't take nothing out the wall to plug it in, you good. <laughs> It's like, like he was in there, his phone was dying. He was like, I gotta record the birth, so you know, let me plug my phone up real quick. Yeah, he was like, yeah, <laughs> they say that, but. So then we went to the post delivery room, cause you're not in the delivery room, but like you said, two hours after you deliver and then you get moved to the other room. And that one was bigger. You can have as many visitors as you want. So that's it for this baby update. We'll update you again after I have my other baby. After I have my next ultrasound. <laughs> so just in case we um we do that get changed, pushed up, this baby's measuring big. <sighs> and let you guys know. All right. Thanks for watching. That was our 32 week update. And uh we'll be back with more.